Hi everyone, here's the lab demo. Um, you'll notice here for this one you have two different data sets you'll use, one from 3.5 and one from 4.2. In the demo I'm just going to use one data set and it happens to be from 4.2 number 22 and that data set will allow me to demonstrate all of the different skills you need. But don't use that data set for your lab, make sure you use these that are listed here. So the first thing we'll do is open the data. So I'm going to go to StatCrunch and we'll make sure we open data sets from the textbook. Now of course you'll open different ones than I am. I'm going to go to chapter 4 and I'll open 4.2 number 22 for my demo. And for the first portion of this demo we're going to be using the wind speed column. So we first need to find the five number summary. So we'll go to stat, summary stats, and columns. I'll click wind speed and then the five number summary, remember, contains a few values, five different values. The values included are the median, which is the same as Q2. And then I'm holding control. We need the minimum and the maximum, and then Q1 and Q3. So that's all five numbers in the five number summary, and we'll compute. Now don't forget to save this so that you can attach it to your report. The next thing we'll do is we will create a box plot, so that's under graph, and we'll go to box plot. This is a simple box plot of wind speed, and so I'll just click wind speed. There's not a whole lot else I need to do here, and we'll click compute. So you see a basic box plot here, and you'll go to options and save. But the next thing we want to do is actually slightly change the data set so that we can see what outliers look like on a box plot. For my purposes, 150 is actually going to end up being an outlier. So for my demo, I'm going to use the data uh, value 150. I'll add that to the end of the data set and click Enter. And then Options, I will click Refresh so I can see a new graph, and you can see then what an outlier looks like on a box plot. And now what I'll do is go to Options and Save again, and I'll save an image of this new graph. So I'll actually have the original box plot saved as well as this one. So box plots are fairly simple. Now when you do the next portion of this lab, um, you'll be using different data but I'll be using the same data. So what I'm going to do so that I can use the same data for this next portion, I'm actually going to delete that value that I added so that my data set is the same as the original. So the next thing I'll want to do is create some scatter plots and regression lines and that will use both columns of data. So the next thing I want is just a plain scatter plot. That's under graph and we'll go down to scatter plot. The x variable will be your independent variable. In this case, I'm going to choose atmospheric pressure. The y variable is the other. Now, for this one, we really don't need to change much of anything. We're just going to select our variables, and then we'll just click Compute. And you see the basic scatter plot here. And you'll notice that there is a basic linear pattern. And in the next portion, we will see um, how nice a correlation we get. So the next thing we want to do is actually do a regression line. So we'll click Stat and Regression. We'll do a simple linear regression. So the simple linear regression, same idea, atmospheric pressure and wind speed will be your two variables. We're going to ignore the hypothesis test and confidence intervals for now. And what we'll do is we'll come down here and select Fitted Line Plot for graphs to include. We want a fitted line plot and a residual index plot. So I'm holding control and clicking both of those. And then what we'll want to do so that we see both results on the same page and we can actually just save them as one result, we'll click, we'll do one row and two columns. And then other than that, you'll just click compute. And what we see, the first page, notice it says one of two. You'll want to go to options and save this first page. And when you save that first page, what you'll get is your regression equation. You can actually just copy, right click and copy this equation and paste it right into your report if you wish. You also have a correlation coefficient. Now the next thing we want to do, because we're only on page one, we want to 
click the right arrow and we can see now our fitted line plot and we can see our residual index plot. And those of course would be interpreted in order to determine whether there is um, a reasonable expectation of linear correlation. So again, you'll want to save after saving that first page, you want to separately save this second page so that you have these results as well. The next thing that you'll do, of course, is create your report. And when you create your report, attach all of your results, and then there are some additional questions to answer in here. So when you create your report, just make sure you answer the additional questions in the body of the report, and that should be it. One last thing to note about creating your report is that you do have more than five results. And you may have noticed that in the lab reports area, your results, you only get five options. So let me show you what happens if I select five results. I'll go ahead and just select some random results here. Once we fill up all five, you notice there's no more space. If I save my report and I go back and edit again, I now get five more options. So in order to select more than five results, what you'll do is attach the first five, then save, go back and edit, and attach the last few.